In the previous video, I showed you how to use the if statement with an integer, uh, which is called a primitive, a very simple data type, or a double, which is a, a, a number of decimal points. If you want to use if statements with strings or compare strings to other strings, uh, you have to use a slightly different method. So let's start off here. I'll call this string equals. I'll go in here and I'll highlight everything, delete it, public class string equals. Equals one two three and class string equals and I'll go public static void main string args one two three and main. Okay, so there's our template. So I'm going to create a string here. And this is something new. String. I'll call it password. I'm going to simulate a password type program. Equals new string, and I'll say the password is A, B, C, D. Okay, not a good password, but I'll just say that's the password. So I'm assigning this four-letter combination, and notice how I have quotes when I use strings, this four-letter combination to the variable or to the reference password. Okay, just think of sticking A, B, C, D in that box. So now I'm going to say if password, now normally you think double equal sign for integers, but with strings you use dot equals. Um, if you use a double equal sign, that gives you some problems. There's a, another video that explains the exact difference there. But for now, we'll say equals A, B, C, D. Oh, and one more. Uh, parentheses. These two parentheses belong to the equals method, or around the quotes here. And this parentheses belongs to that one. Basically, we have to match up pairs. One, two, three. And if, as always. I'll say system .out print line password is correct. Okay, so if the password ABCD equals this, this is that would be a true statement, a true Boolean statement. So this would be true. Evaluate the word true. And if it's true, we actually execute the statement inside the curly braces. So let's uh, compile, close, and run it. And you can see the password is correct. If I change, I'll just change this one. I can change either one. If I change this one to ABCDE, does ABCD equal ABCD? No, because there's an extra E here. So I'll compile that. And let's see if that nothing happens because they're not equal. Um, change it back to the correct password, compile, and everything should be. Okay, so in a nutshell, when you are comparing one string to another, you don't use the double equal sign that's reserved for integers and doubles. You use the dot equals method. Um, and here you can see the dot equals method is used inside of an if statement to give you a Boolean statement, true or false, which evaluated to true will actually uh, execute the statement within the curly braces here. So that's uh, comparing strings with the dot equals method.